What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Mike Life. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on a foam cannon. It was sent to me from Bravix from Amazon. It's called the Bravix Foam Cannon. All right, came in a box, just a regular cardboard box with Amazon stickers on it. And then when you open up the packaging in here, there is no other packaging. The foam cannon is in pieces inside the box. Now inside that packaging, they also gave you like a user manual thing and it's called upgraded foam cannon. So I guess they had another foam cannon in the past and this is the upgraded version. So you could see here, right over here, that's where your sprayer is. And as I turn, yep, it closed up and then opens up. So that's the fan of the foam when it comes out. So you could either have it shooting as uh, a stream of soap or you could fan it out for more foam. So, and then over here, you have a little water adjustment. So always keep this all the way to the right. So this way you're getting uh, the most foam. You want more air going in there instead of water mixing with your soap. All right, so, and like I said, core to quick connect. And the cool thing about this is, is right here. This part here where it attaches to the bottle. Oh, by the way, this is a 34 ounce bottle. Is that it's plastic on plastic. So you don't have to worry about cross threading. So the threading on this is real nice. Now to give you an example, I have this one here. This one is the MTM Hydro. I think the PF 2.2, I think that's the name of it. And this here, when I open up the bottle, you're gonna see how, look how small the opening is. That's the one thing I didn't like about this one here. And this is a high-end one. This one is made in Italy. This costed $90. And this one here, even the con these parts, they feel loose compared to the $35 one off of Amazon. And the one thing this one does is, you could see, I could either spray it to be vertical or horizontal by turning this part here. Is it focusing on it? I'm not sure if it's focusing, but yeah, it turns that part there. There you go. I think you could see it better. Or turn it that way. All right, so it's got that feature on there. So ever since they came out with that feature, everyone else has been copying them. But on this one here, everything feels nice and firm. So you could see there, opening and closing, and then turning this. Yeah, so everything just feels more stout on this one here from a $35 one compared to the high-end one that costs $90. So. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna attach it to my pressure washer. Uh, we're gonna do some foam on my wife's Volvo. It's a blue color Volvo, so you'll be able to see the foam perfectly. So I'm gonna use Adam's Mega Foam in here. I'm gonna put two ounces of that. And then the water, I'm not gonna fill up, obviously I'm not gonna, I'm gonna probably do around maybe 28 ounces of water in here with the two ounces of soap. Now before we do the soap, put the soap in there and test it out, uh, one thing I want to say is inside here, there's an orifice. You could remove this quarter connect. And the orifice that's inside here is a 1.1 millimeter. So it's perfect for your electric pressure washers. Something that does like anywhere between 1.2, for example, to 1.5 GPMs of water. Electric, that's what you'd want to use. Now, if you're using something that produces a lot of water, there's a lot of amp draw, you're gonna have to use a 1.25 millimeter orifice with this. Now, a lot of the companies, like for example, they actually shipped it out with both orifices in there, 1.1 and a 1.25. They only give you the 1.1. For me, that's perfect, because that's what I use for the stuff I have. But for you guys out there, you would need a 1.25 that I wanna use this with let's say a gas power washer, something that shoots out a lot of water, a lot of GPM, gallons per minute. So I'll have a link in the description for a 1.25 orifice, or if you're looking for another pressure washer, nozzle, something, a 1.1 millimeter, I'll have that linked also down below. So now, next step would be to grab the hose, and you're gonna just attach it right there, give it a twist. See that what I'm doing? I'm just twisting it. All right, so you want it like that. And over here, you're gonna have your filter. Now this filter does pop out. You could open it up if you wanna get inside there and just clean. 
I don't know if there's any debris or something gets in there. So it's pretty cool. And it also acts as a weight. So this way when it's inside here, inside, it'll be able to move around. It's not heavy. There's other ones that have a metal ball. This one's plastic, but it'll give it some weight inside there. You know, so this, when you're having the bottle tilted like that, or like that, at least the hose will be able to get to the water or the tube. And there's a little up close look of the Bravix and that's just a sticker. All right, so they got a sticker on there. And then on the other side, they got some information with the phone number and it's a nice hard plastic. Uh, trying to squeeze it, you can't. This is a hard plastic. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the water in. Now the soap I like to use is this stuff here, Adam's Mega Foam, the best. When it comes to foaming a car, that's the one you're gonna get. Don't bother with anything else. Trust me when I tell you, I've tried a lot of them. That's the best one right there. Container, I got water. And what I like to do with this container is there's like these slots on the side. I have the water up to there. So I got that. And then I have two ounces of the snow foam. Hopefully it focuses on it. You guys could see two ounces. Grab that and pour it in. All right, make sure it all drops in. You don't want to waste any of this. There we go. Now, grab this piece, screw it down. I have to say, I love the threading on here. I'm telling you for a $35 uh, foam cannon, not bad. All right, got that in there. Now, another thing with a lot of these foam cannons are, well, after you put the soap in there, you should not shake it, but kind of like go back and forth. And a lot of times when you do with other ones, you have water just coming out of the top here on the side. So we'll do a little test to see if water does come out. Yeah, it does. All right, so you do get some leaking with this. So yeah, it, just something worth mentioning. If you're gonna shake it, put your hand over it, give it just a little shake like that. So this way the soap and the water mixes together. All right, guys, so I got the foam cannon attached, all set. All right, make sure I have it right where I want it. I'm gonna show you guys how it, the stream happens with this. So right now it's gonna shoot it straight, a straight stream. All right, I'm gonna turn this. Now it's a fan. Or I could just turn it now and make it be vertical. Nice foam. I've seen better. It's not as thick as I'd like it, but pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the car off. I'm going to change the orifice. I have a 1.1 millimeter just in case, because I feel like it should have been thicker. If this is a 1.1 in here, that means it's more of the gun. Now, don't get me wrong. The foam is pretty good on here. But like I said, I've seen thicker foam. All right, so I'm gonna do a swap. So inside here, right behind that, I'm gonna move this, is one of these. This is the piece here. This one is a 1.1 millimeter orifice. So what you need is a wrench. So I'm gonna use a crescent wrench. All right, and I already started it just to make sure it's not tight on there. So I could take it off a little easier. All right, so take that out. And you're gonna see it's right inside there focus you're gonna see it there so you need a flathead screwdriver get inside all right i got it out we'll grab this one here this one's a 1.1 millimeter orifice pop it in grab my screwdriver tighten it down and you don't want it too tight just enough got it tightened down now i'm gonna grab the quarter inch quick connect and you can see it does have an o-ring on there you know, for protection for water so it doesn't come out because you are applying uh, PSI pressure with this with the pressure washer. All right, now I'm just going to tighten it down. There we go. That's good. Grab the bottle, put it together, and let's foam it now. All right, so I've rinsed the car off. I did the swap. Now I know for sure this is a 1.1 millimeter orifice. 
Let's do another test. I don't know, it looks the same to me. Looks the same. It's a little bit, just a tad on the watery side. And like I said, I've tested out, I've had other foam cannons like the MTM Hydro, and that gives it nice, thicker foam. But still, the foam on here, you could see plenty of foam on the car. And what this is doing is it's encapsulating the dirt and it's running down and pulling the dirt off. So this is what you would call a pre-wash. So far, so good. Not bad of a foam cannon. All right, guys, and that was the Bravix foam cannon. Mike, what do you think of it? The build quality on this, beautiful. Container, I love the container. Love the way this all, this whole mechanism here, it feels good, feels of quality. Everything feels nice, doesn't feel loose which is good. 1.1 millimeter orifice is included with this, but they should have included the 1.25, like I said before. Now, am I getting foam, thick, rich foam? I'm getting good foam. Don't get me wrong. The foam was good. I've seen it thicker with other ones, which is this one here. And remember, this is a high-end one, $90. This is a $35 one. But for a $35 one, it does get the job done. As you guys saw, foam all over the car, does it perfectly, and the build quality of this, pretty good. Mike, do you recommend this one? Yeah, I recommend it. It's a nice $35 foam cannon. All right, so in the description below, I'll have links. There'll be Amazon links for this. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. I get a little bit of a percentage, which helps me to get more products to review for you guys. All right, that's all for this episode of Mike Life.